Hi, I'm Ken Bianco Jr. and welcome to Train World TV. Today we have an awesome special for you. We got Bill and Dan from Rapido Trains here. And, um, Thanks guys for coming down. Great Thanks to have you. Thanks. Thanks and for my father, Ken Sr., down there. Yeah. <laughs> and basically, we've actually just started carrying Rapido Trains maybe a couple of years a couple ago. Of years. A couple but, of years. But your announcements recently have blown the charts off. You, you know, the you're coming out with more North American product. You're coming out with great product. The consumers are going crazy over it. So what's what's the secret of your success, and what do you have coming out for us? You know, I think we're all one of the things that sets us aside is we are all enthusiasts. We all have a little bit different uh, interests, but we're all enthusiasts. We're all very passionate about what we do. Right, um, right. You know, in being based out of Connecticut, my interest is primarily oh. north, northeastern U.S. Sure, stuff. Sure. So the, all, the, all of a sudden all the now you're, yeah, all, yeah, all of a sudden you're yeah, starting. Yeah, all right, yeah, all right, right. you know, yeah. <laughs> I'll take a little bit of that credit, but um, no, the response has been great on the stuff. Great, and great. We're all very passionate about it. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, I see these uh, awesome vi live video <laughs> vlogs from uh, Jason, and he's all animated. And I thought I was going to get the real deal, but. No, you know, I'll settle good you looking ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that's okay. Right. We're, we're glad to have you. Thanks. And um, so, what do you guys have planned? What do you guys have coming out? Lots of stuff. Um, one of the things we're going to show you today is the uh, FA locomotives, the FA, FA2 and the FPA2. Okay. Um, this is a new series of engines. The tooling is essentially done, but we're still going to take some orders for a bit because we're not quite ready to produce it. Okay. Um, we've got some of these we'll demo for you too with the sound. Specific details on these. So the Pensy has the train phone antennas on the roof, the B&O has the louvers on the front, uh, two different sets of fuel tanks depending on whether it's a passenger equipped unit or, or a freight unit. The Canadian ones have the, the hatches on the roof, the winterization hatches. Um, so typical of all of our stuff, these are very, uh, very detail oriented. Right. So the exact details of the actual train, that's the way you're making it. That's right, yeah. The, the, this one here, 811, would have had the, the delivers, the, 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 the nose yeah. plate, no, no steam generator on the back. They're all road number specific details. Okay. Now we were talking a little earlier and you were talking about the passenger cars and I asked you about the uh, battery or mm -hmm. track power. Yep. So let's go over that now sure. from, from what you had and what you're doing now. Well, these are our New Haven 8600 coaches, and these are actually on, literally on the on the water now. We've okay. got the first shipment just arrived. Uh, we'll arrive in the warehouse mostly today. Today, we hope. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, these are all pre-production samples. They've survived the Springfield show, so they're a little rough. Um, but these are full interior, uh, full lighting, and they are track powered, constant lighting. Yeah. Uh, very yeah. good, very good. I like that. I mm -hmm. like that a lot. Uh, uh, I like the track power. Track nice. power is a good thing. And another thing that we talked about with on this style engine or series of the engine, what yeah, series yeah, is this now? It. That's our prime mover series. Okay. Um, it's less detailed, more cost effective. Okay, is there the many level. engines in this series? Or is this this the first is the one? first, but there will be many. Okay. Uh, those are okay. the first two freight cars in the same series. Mm -hmm. uh, the new thing is this is fantastic for DCC readiness. If you're selling it in the store, you know, yep. it's a pain in the neck to pull the body to put it, make right, it DCC right, for right. the guy quick. Mm -hmm. And sure. now all we have is you pop. How many lid. times we broke bodies, somebody yep. broke bodies, yeah. taking yeah. it off, yeah. Yeah. and, yeah. and how the, the little part that launches uh, across the room yeah. and never comes right. back. Yeah. Pop your trap door, 
you pull your dummy plug. That's very you install easy. Install the decoder, close it up, and you're done. I can't believe no one else thought of that. It's, it's like a no-brainer to do it that yeah. way. It's simple. That Same makes it easy. Easy yeah. to switch the corners. Easy yep. to, uh, to fix. Easy to yep. do anything. Mm -hmm. Very yeah, cool. Well, everybody's going to say the, uh, the ditch lights aren't lit. Mm -hmm. Well, that was one of the cost savings of only doing the headlights. Right. Okay. right. They okay. will come with surface-mounted LEDs on wire okay. that the customer drills through, runs the wire down the wire chase that we've made in the back of the head casting. Mm -hmm. Through, you run it along the frame into the fuel tank, and the solder pads will be there. The customer mm -hmm. just four solder joints. Okay. So they're able to do it. They're able to but do it quickly. That actually, easy. it looks beautiful. Yep. Very yep. nice. Yep. And this this engine, as we were talking before, uh, ran, runs. I mean, it's a current locomotive. It runs back and forth across the border all the time in right. service. So uh, it's not unusual to see these locomotives on UP. We've had photos of New York. Yeah, exactly. Right, all right. over the place. Yeah. The BC Rail ones are currently running down in the states. Yeah. Yes. I don't think anyone's ever done this. It's don't, not. No. Uh, yeah. Nope. No. It's beautiful. Right. In plastic. All right. That's fantastic. It's uh, a whole new generation now. Just underneath the engine, flip yep. up that box, change yep. it to Coda. One, two, three. So if you're a guy that's all thumbs. You can do it, you but again, it, it, it comes back partly to us all being modelers and us having to fight the same yeah, things right, that everybody right, else right, fights. Right, you know, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. let's move over to the freight cars because yeah. these are so heavy. Yeah, unbelievable. They're, they're I, all die cast. Yep. Unbelievable. Uh, again, they're in our prime mover series, so they will come with 240 or 53 foot containers. Yeah, they'll come, they'll retail for about $50 US. Yep. Yeah, they're a one piece die cast body with okay. plastic wow. details. Yep, and this is a different car too than has been available. Not they very track nice. very well, yeah. just out of the box empty, which is, is a nice, you know, nice feature. Now, in two different uh, TTX paint schemes, the modern one and this one. With containers? With containers. Wow, containers. two okay. containers. That's yep. great. Very nice. Beautiful. And the containers will be available. Sir. What yes. size containers going here? Anything up to a 53-footer. Our okay. container will be a 53-foot heated box, which mm -hmm. means it's the first one with the heater on instead of an AC unit. Wow. So, they need that in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> another another, another Canadian. Yeah. That's yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But again, they do get international. Cool. Yeah. But um, okay. now moving on to this RDC. Yeah. Let's talk about this because sure. you know there's there's other models out there, but this there is have been. the the detail on this is just gorgeous. This mm -hmm. this is a whole whole new step forward. Um, what we designed this as is basically one of our passenger cars with a power system on it. So it, it's got the full underbody detail, it's got a full interior, it's see-through, uh, photo etched grills on the top, um, a lot like the FAs, a lot of road specific details. The Amtrak ones have the correct diaphragms and headlight. Uh, the Canadian ones have a bunch of different versions. Um, the B&O which were kind of oddball units, had a diaphragm and light only on one end. Our B&Os will have the same thing. Right, right. Um, so, yeah, a lot of, of road-specific details on these. Uh, the first time that an RDC has really been done to this level. Right, and right, The response right. has been huge. Yeah, so the, the color on it is phenomenal. It looks yeah. like a, a real, real metal finish. Yep. Is it metal? I don't know. It's, it's not. Uh, it looks metal. We, <laughs> we spent a lot of time with our factory trying to yeah. come up with a, a finished system. We used it on our Canadian, the passenger train that we yeah, did yeah. several years ago, mm -hmm. then on our Bud passenger cars, and we'll be using it on this. And it, it's actually matched to uh, the Bud plating is that they would have yeah. had on the wow. side. So, wow. uh, no, very nice. Yeah, very thank nice. you. Now, the, the engine or the motor is where? Well, we copied what Bud did. The motors on the real train are underneath the floor, so uh, our motors are underneath the floor. Okay. So it's not in the passenger, nope. you're not going to see it nope. through? Wow. The drive wow. system is completely in the floor, so that means, if we can get a close-up of this maybe later, that, that the entire interior is completely see-through. Wow. It's lit inside, which we can demonstrate. It's got a sound system in it, right, which right. Is, is correct for the Bud units. <laughs>
you're doing unique road names like Long Island. Yeah, our, absolutely. Our guys are going to go crazy for it. You know, we do, we've done a few Long Island products. We did the Osgood Bradley cars in Long right, Island. Right, we, did, right. we did some MTA commuter cars in Long Island. Yep, We're doing so. this. And, and Long Island guys are going nuts. Yeah, we yeah. really do well. It's good to hear. Good to hear. And I guess the, the last product here is this bad boy. The, the Amtrak F40. Um, You're also coming out with some new... Uh, yes. versions of this right. with the uh, squirrel cage well rather? and with the with the ditch lights on the nose right. is the main the main change gotcha. um, and at Amtrak also lengthened the fuel tank so the new ones will have the bigger fuel tank and the ditch lights on the nose um, or basically for this the the slightly newer uh, Amtrak modelers and I'm sorry the um the cabbage version, the cabbage well. version okay, as yeah, well, yeah, right? There you yeah, go, there you go. which is you know the one with with no no motor in it, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, except our model will be powered. Our model will be powered. Right, right, right. Uh, okay. And the the reason for that is actually twofold. First of all, as we were talking before, there's not really a lot of difference cost wise for us in having it with a motor or without a motor. So you might as well right. put it in. Yeah. And secondly, some of the uh, passenger cars that are out there don't roll quite as well. So uh, if you, you want right. a string of those, right. you need that extra power. Yeah. Right. And yeah. the neat thing is the sound decoder in that will be ambient sounds of the train. Mm -hmm. So you'll have the air conditioners and all of that mm -hmm. when the train pulls into the station. Yep. You're going to hear the roar of a plus, passenger Plus, of course, the, the horn and the bell. And the horn and so bell. You won't have a prime mover sound. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. okay. Tell us about this, this model it is. It's a very uniquely Canadian cylindrical covered hopper, but it's in international service, so it moves all over North America, hauling potash, cement, mm -hmm. and whatnot. Everybody's going to compare this out to the other bigger grain cars that are out there. This is a lot smaller version of the car, but they literally moved in hundreds of blocks mm -hmm. all over North America. Yeah. So, um, Another one you need 24. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 that seems to be the, the latest. Uh, a lot of the same car and yeah, yep, yeah. make it look like a real uh, massive train. And these were built in about 67 and they're still in service today. Mm -hmm. so, oh, okay. They cover a wide time period. Okay. Well, again, guys, thank you so much for coming down here today. I really Thanks appreciate for having us. it. Thank you. Yeah, the new product looks amazing. Thank We're you. going to continue to carry your product and so. grow with you guys. We're looking cool. forward to a, a bigger relationship with you guys. And thank you so much for showing everything. Again, you could get all your Rapido product at trainworld.com, shop online 24 7. And hopefully next time you could bring that elusive Jason. <laughs> we have yeah, we, we really try um, to leave him back in the office Jason, as much as we can. Yeah. In China. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we know. That's right. right. Yeah. And, and I know, I know. I'm fired. And, and Jason. <laughs> They, they, it's not official until it's on Facebook. <laughs> they, they told us that uh, they brought the corporate Rapido car. And That's we're right. Steak yep. dinners. That's right. We're going for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Take care.